Okay, this video is going to show really um, quickly how to uh, format your H2s. So uh, the standards of the writers is to write at least a minimum of five H2s. Now these are headings. So an H1, for example, would be the title of an article. All the sub topics that are main topics still that make up that article are H2s. And then there's sub subtopics that are H3s and whatnot. Um, I'll show you a really good example, then I'll show you how to do it. So a good example here is this one here, A Guide to Assisted Living in Reno. This is the title. You see that this is a heading H1. This right here is one of the first main topics, and there's a, quite a bit of information under this. This is an H2. So then the next main topic here is also an H2. And you scroll down this next topic, what differentiates from other senior care options. This is an H2 as well. Now you notice down here, assisted living versus assisted homes. That fits within this H2 topic, what differentiates assisted living from other senior care options. So this assisted living versus assisted homes, this does fit with, within this, and so therefore this is an H3 because it falls underneath this H2. That makes sense? Hopefully it does. Um, then you scroll down, you can find other H2s, H3s. I'll show you what this would look like um, if we were just to create um, from scratch, if we were gonna create an article and um, how to, it, everything is at default gonna be the normal text, how to turn certain things into those H1s, H2s. So this is my article, and um, let's say that right here is the title of my article. All right here, this is title of my article here, okay? And um, this is my first main topic. Um, and then there's all kinds of great information that you can see there. And this is my second main topic. And uh, that has all this second main topic great information here. And then you have a uh, third main topic. And within the third main topic, you have, let's say, it, it starts, you, you have some sub items that are like actually still within that third main topic, but this is a sub third main topic. And uh, so there's some information here, and then there's another sub third main topic, and some information here. So you'll notice this is all starting out with some regular text here. So all you have to do, you highlight that line and then you go over to this normal text right here. You change the normal text to H1, that's the title. So H1 right here, title of my article here, first main topic here, you, you're gonna highlight that line. Then you come over here, change it from normal text to H2, simple as that. And then you go to the next main topic down there, change that to H2. Most of these are gonna be H2s, uh, it's just how articles are broken down nice and simply on a web page so that Google can see these are this is these this is group topic this these are this topic of group um, you, you know what I'm saying this is a, a, a grouping of this information this is another grouping of this information and they're separated by these h2s so then this is the third main topic which is another h2 and then you've got uh, something that falls within the category of that third main topic. So that's gonna be an H3. So you just change that to H3. And you notice that's um, a little bigger than the normal text, but it's smaller than the H2. So that these, this is another uh, sub third main topic, right? So you got your third main topic, sub, sub. These are different information things, but it's worth, you feel like they're worth breaking up into those um, sub third main topic groups. So um, ho hopefully that makes sense. You have your H2s are your main go-to uh, dividers of content and then your title is gonna be your H1.